My Hero Vigilantes, a spinoff slash prequel series to My Hero Academia that started publishing in 2016. And I never really read it because I thought it wasn't worth reading and I didn't really care for My Hero that much. So I just never read it. But since it's a hundredth chapter is upon us, I decided that, you know what, why not give it a chance? I'll read a few chapters and I'll just get through it. And whether I like it or not, just get through it just to say I've read it. And that was a week ago. So I decided to read it and holy smokes, it's actually hella fire. Why did I never read this till now? Well, to be fair, I kind of stopped reading and watching anything My Hero in general for like five or six months. But then I caught up on the manga like a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And now I'm back into it because it's gotten so fire lately. And low key, I needed more My Hero content. My Hero Vigilantes is really goaded in my opinion because it keeps the core of My Hero, but it shows it differently. For example, look at this line. Not everyone can earn or be given the title of hero. And those who use their powers without society's approval to fight are known by another name. Vigilantes. Which... Yes, on one hand, paints vigilantes as villains, but on the other hand, this series shows that vigilantes are somewhat needed in the universe due to the fact that a lot of things slip through the cracks of the pro heroes, all the smaller things. And what's gonna happen when some girl's getting messed with in the alleyway and All Might's not there to save them? Vigilantes are there because they're local heroes. There are local people that are there to help. I really like the plot of My Hero Vigilantes because I, I think it's perfect for a grittier side story. Not saying that My Hero Academia isn't dark or anything because it gets semi-dark later, but I just feel like Vigilantes doesn't have the school aspect and it's more in the alleyways, Batman style, so it just feels like a darker series. The characters introduced that are exclusive to the series are pretty goaded, and it also does a really great job at showing us a glimpse of what a hero's life is really like, and I like how it shows that established characters were before the main series. For example, it gives us Aizawa's backstory, back when he was in high school with Miss Midnight and President Mike and other people, and uh, it shows us a bit of Stain being a vigilante before becoming a straight up villain. He wore a mask, it was pretty freaking cool. Also, the main character is very interesting. Nothing against Deku, but like, until recently, we, we knew all about One For All, and it wasn't like, oh, this is crazy. And I didn't really care for Deku that much, to be honest, until recently. I didn't think he was horrible, but I didn't think he was great. It's pretty good now. But the main character's quirk is awesome, and it evolves too. I like him as a person, he seems chill. He is kind of similar to Deku, if I'm gonna be honest, but he's freaking awesome. I really hope that someday Vigilantes receives an anime. I could see it getting one if the main series uh, anime ever catches up to the manga, and they could then make a vigilantes anime to keep the hype in my hero popularity around for a bit before returning to the main series after a while uh let's get into some characters my top three characters in this series would probably be koichi the main character i really like him he's pretty dope and he cares for his, his friends and stuff you know classic mc the main villain is freaking awesome i forgot his name admittedly but he's dope and his whole story is pretty great so far and i would say aizawa but if we don't include aizawa because he's in the main series then i would have to give it to pop star her story and character development was really well done so overall is my hero vigilantes worth reading is it readable or laughable i'm gonna give readable it's very good i'm not gonna give it a rating because i don't like giving ratings but if you're a fan of the original series then i definitely recommend this as it does flesh out the world a lot gives us insight and it introduces us to some nice little people you know i don't know what else to add besides the fact that i think this series is really underrated and flies under the radar even for my hero fans and that's why i say i would recommend it and i'm also very very excited to see where the story goes next because right now it's actually pretty similar to how the main series is right now, where the main character is all on his own almost. Even though they're not completely all on their own, it's kind of like separated from where they were before. Uh, I don't want to say too much without giving out spoilers, but yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire video. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this. I'm making a My Hero Vigilantes tier list, a uh, character's tier list with my boy Eden soon, so be sure to look out for that. I do want to make more My Hero content, so I might reread the entire series. Um, we'll see. But yeah, until next time, it's been your boy Eddie Eight's Anime. Uh, have a good day, and uh, peace.